Hello, fellow spirit adventurers. I hope you're having a good e evening. Tonight, we're going to be ch checking out the two new Johnny Walker Game of Thrones bottlings. A Song of Ice and A Song of Fire. Both are blended scotch whiskeys. With the A Song of Ice having malt from the Klein Leash distillery and the Song of Fire having malt from the Cow Isla d distillery. We're going to be starting off with the Song of Ice. These have been resting in their glasses for about 10 to 15 minutes. What do you think? It smells sweet. Yeah, it's light. Light vanilla. Something... Spicy? Nah, yeah, maybe a little bit in the background. Not very strong, though. Maybe like a light baking spice, and then... Some kind of fruit, maybe pear? I don't really smell the pear. What do you think that the sweetness is? Vanilla. Oh, so it's just like vanilla syrup sweetness? Okay. This one is bottled at 40.2% ABV, so almost the minimum. Well, let's move on to the palette and see what we think. Yeah, light, vanilla, a little bit of spice. At the very end. Yeah, like on the back of your tongue as you swallow. Um, not much of a finish, just a light lingering vanilla. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Nothing new on the nose after taking your first sip. I accidentally took a second sip. Well, it mustn't have been th that, that, that bad if you uh, reflexively took another drink. It's not bad. I like the bottles. They're pretty cool. Yeah, the pack packaging's cool. Um, it's light, it's easy, it's inoffensive. We got the two-pack as a bundle for 65 but I think... A lot of places are charging close to 40 per bottle. That seems kind of high, um, at least for what I'm tasting and getting out of the A Song of Ice. I think it might be better as someone who already has all the Game of Thrones whiskeys, including White Walker. It's not, it's not as bad as White Walker. It's inoffensive. Or how would you describe it? Tastes like whiskey. <laughs> yeah, whiskey, but like good? It's alright. I don't really know. I haven't had that many whiskeys. Hmm. Does it even come close to the Aurora or the Wolfburn Aurora that you tried from our Fl Flaviar sample pack? The one that you said tasted like tr trail mix? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Not, no. <laughs> no. It's just a blend. A, should be a budget blend. It's a little expensive, in my opinion. But let's take a sip of water and then move on to a song of fire. On the nose. What do you get? Caramel. Yeah, there's a vague sweetness, but that's ab about it. Yeah, I don't get much smell from this one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll taste better. Diageo messed it up again. <laughs> they had their chance to have the Targaryen Dragon Whiskey be smoky. It even says on the back. It does say on the back. 
peated malt from Cow Isla. Where's the smoke? Hold on, let me. Where is it at? Lends, lends a subtle smoke tempered by a rich, round sweetness. I don't smell the smoke. I get a vague sweetness. There's no smoke. No. At least on the nose. I guess we'll see if it shows up in, in the palette, but I'm kind of doubting it. Let's see what the palette's like. Hopefully it's better. It's like drinking slightly alcoholic water. Yeah, that's what I thought, too, <laughs> when I first swallowed it. <laughs> With a light a a aftertaste of... Of, uh... I don't know, man. Not even smoky. <laughs> no, no. It it doesn't even have the spice that the, fir yeah. that, that the fir first one the, has. The ice was definitely better than the re red one. Uh, a Song of yeah, Fire. Yeah, Song of Fire. <laughs> I've already forgotten the name. But, uh, yeah, I think that saying that this is a forgettable whiskey is a good way of saying it. The I bottles are really cool, though. Yeah, the, the bottles are cool. Like, if you're collecting them for the bottles. <laughs> the Song of Ice um, has, like, a matte finish on the wrap, whereas the Song of Fire has a... Holographic gra finish on the yeah. bottle. But I don't recommend buying whiskey just to co collect it. You should buy whiskey that you think is going to be good. And I bought these to help inform people, uh, make an informed decision when it came to purchasing their next bottle. For forty dollars, do you think either one of these is worth forty dollars? I think your mellow corn's worth more than this. Yes, and mellow <laughs> corn can be have had for less than ten dollars a bottle, although it's not the same style of whiskey, of course. But as far as value goes, yeah, that's a much better value than forty dollars or even the thirty-seven fifty that I paid each. I think branding definitely got the better of these two. Yeah, it's all about the branding. It's all about the popularity of the show. Um, we can go back to the Song of Ice and see if our thoughts have changed any now that we've had the Song of Fire. It's still sweet. It's still sweet, but there's some, something else maybe. I don't know what it is, but... Do you get, like, a light... I don't know. Kind of, like, hay? You know what? Maybe. Yeah, there's something that's kind of like... More like corn, maybe? But, like, corn stalks? Yeah, like, after it got, like... Wet? Like, cut, cut, cut down? Cut down, yeah. Like a wet, vegetal plant note. All right, let's see if it still has that spice on the back of the tongue that we got when we first tried it. No. A little bit. Maybe. So, 40.2%, 40.8%. It's pretty close, but the one that's a slightly higher proof drinks even more like water. I don't think that I'd recommend either one. I think that they're both all mar marketing and no quality, unfortunately. So, hopefully the next bottle we review will be a little bit better. I have a feeling that it will be. It's our next review is going to be of an Irish whiskey. Ooh. Namely, Writer's Tears Double Oaked. It's Writer's Tears is a, normally it's a 40% ABV Irish pot still whiskey. But the double O comes in at 46%, non show fi filtered, aged in American oak, first fill bourbon casks, and French oak 
cognac casks. Kind of like the Glen Livet 14 cognac cask that we just reviewed a little while ago. We'll see if there's any similarities. It's also a blend of two different styles of whiskey. One being Irish pot still and one being Irish single malt. Look forward to it. Now? Well, what little I have left, anyway. Slancha. <laughs> <laughs>